Welcome to this video in the uh, Rates 2 topic where we're going to be looking at how to determine the rate of reaction uh, from a concentration time graph. So I've got here reactant concentration plotted against time and the first thing I'm going to do here uh, is to draw a best fit line uh, for this. So I'm just going to make sure I select line and I'm going to just go ahead and draw myself a best fit line. Now you would almost certainly be able to do a better job than this with a nice pencil, but that's my effort. So that's my best fit line through the data and that's the first step. Now my tip for doing this is normally you want to try and finish your axes roughly where the data finish, but I think it's a good idea here to extend um, and perhaps you'll see that later because some of these tangents we're going to draw to the graph are actually going to potentially extend beyond the range of data. So it's useful to have a little bit of extension. That's my first tip on doing this. So what do we need to do? Now let's remind ourselves the rate of a chemical reaction the rate of reaction is, in this case because it's a reactant, the negative of the change of concentration with the change in time. So in other words we need the gradient of this line and because the gradient of this line is changing, it's very steep here, very shallow there, we're going to want to determine the gradient at a particular uh, concentration usually or particular time. So I'm going to pick uh, a concentration of 0.1. Here. So what I want to try and do is determine the concentrate, the gradient of the line at this point. And the way to go is to draw a tangent to the line. And a tangent is a Latin word that comes from meaning uh, touch. So we just want a line, a straight line that's going to touch this graph just on the best fit line at a concentration of 0 0.1. So I come to my second tip, trusty ruler needed for the job. Um, and we'll just rotate the ruler so that we can get it into position here. It's not quite a tangent. Uh, still not quite there. That'll do. Okay, so you line your ruler up with the graph at that point, making sure it absolutely touches, and then you just draw. And here's my third tip, to draw as long a tangent as you possibly can, ideally touching the axes at both ends. Ooh. And there it is. Okay, the ruler has served its purpose. We can move that out of the way. Okay, off it goes. And now we've got our tangent at this concentration. And all it's a case of doing now is just working out, plugging into this formula. So at this point, the concentration uh, at this point is around about 0.15. So it starts off at 0.15 uh, and it was 0 at this point here, so it's there, and the time again 0 here, so it's, this is why it's useful to touch the axis 0 here, and around about 20, 30, 29, 28, 27. 20, seven seconds there. So when this comes out in the wash with the different minus signs, so uh, 27 minus zero. Uh, when this comes out in the wash, if we do the calculation, we're going to get a positive value, and it's important that our rate values are always positive. We're going to get a value of 0 0.006. Uh, and the units here will be moles per decimeter cubed. Uh, per hour in this case. Now make sure you're careful about the units uh, here because time is usually in seconds but here it's in hours uh, and that's a one decimal place answer. So that's how you uh, determine uh, rates of reaction using tangents. Um, so my three tips again extend your axes, uh, use a clear ruler, as uh, long a ruler as possible and extend your tangents so they touch the axes on either end.